What's up guys, Baker here. Today, I got a tutorial. I'm calling this RGB Splits. And uh, basically, it's this uh, subtle little effect I used in my uh, Myth 20K Team Taj. And it's basically something like this. So the guy is coming over and we get this cool little kind of uh, RGB split, but it's kind of in the radial direction and I think it looks pretty nifty. So um, just a little enhancement for gunshots or whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you this. It uses no plugins or anything, just uh, built in inside of After Effects. So let me go ahead and delete all of this and just start over, bring in my new clip. We got this. And, um, yeah, so we're, first thing we're going to do is search up set channels and drag that on. And then duplicate this three times. Well, two times, so you have three layers. And um, the top layer, let's go ahead and keep red, turn green to off, and blue to off. Middle layer, let's take red, off, keep green, blue, off. Bottom layer, Red, off, green, off, keep blue. Take all of these layers and take the transfer mode and set it to screen. Now it looks normal, but what we can do is rotate each layer and we get a cool RGB split kind of look. So what I'm going to do is uh, move forward until he shoots the guy. Go back a frame right here. Let's keyframe. Let's take all these. Keyframe the rotation. So R and uh, scale so hold shift and push s and let's keyframe all these and let's move forward one frame and let's rotate the top layer maybe five degrees and the bottom layer negative five degrees now we can see kind of the edges um, showing up so that's uh, why we're going to scale this up to maybe 110 kitty i'm doing another tutorial hold on 110 for all these and then just move forward set all these back down to normal values 100 0 degrees 100 100 0 so the scale goes from 0 or scale goes from 100 110 100 and then the rotation just kind of rotates it so that looks pretty cool um, what I'm gonna do now is this is optional but make a new adjustment layer search up radial blur just normal radial blur and let's go to that first keyframe and keyframe it at zero keyframe move forward one frame maybe five kind of spins it out a little bit and then go to the end back down to zero so this kind of blurs the um the edges so it's not so you know sharp and kind of crazy kind of blurs it warps it looks pretty nice I think so that's just like a single shot effect if you have like a super crazy over edit so let me just uh, reset all these actually let me delete no hold on well I got this and transform reset everything um, let's say you want this effect to happen continuously throughout your edit Reset. All right, so everything's normal. Um, what we can do is just add a wiggle to the rotation. So R, Alt click, stopwatch, wiggle, maybe like 15, comma two, and we can just copy this expression. R, Alt click, paste. R, Alt click, paste. So now this will kind of wiggle the entire time. Gives it a little bit more energy maybe and um, I like this method uh, like compared to normal uh, RGB twitch because the center is not affected as much as the outside so your focus is kind of directed towards the middle of the gameplay which is good and just the outsides kinda get the effect now you might need to scale up the layers or use motion tile or something to uh, fix the edges but that's pretty much it, uh, using set channels for three layers, turning the red, green, and blue on and off. Um, that is pretty much it. Go ahead and like and favorite the video, comment if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff. 
Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Submit any new tutorial ideas. And, um, yeah, that should be it. Alright, peace.